This is a really fun, really cool, and easy way to make a sign. For our Binford sign here, I went online, did a snip of the Binford tools print. Once that was snipped, I brought it into Inkscape and then did a trace bitmap. Once you trace it, then you can do all kinds of cool things in the program. For the text down here, this was just text that I typed in, kind of sized it the way I wanted it, and then lined it up. The outside border is not a cut line. That's the cutting area that I set for the CNC machine. Whenever I start a project, I go to Properties, change everything to inches, and then define the area that I don't want to go over. This CNC machine, this 3040, will go to about 15 inches in width and about 10 inches in height, but I usually keep it a little bit, a little bit under that. Once this has been set up and the text has been changed from an object to a path, then we're good to save this as an SVG and open up JS Cut so we can define our tool paths. In JS Cut we open up our file. Here's the design that we did in Inkscape. I'm going to change some of these settings. We're going to change the diameter to smaller than an 8. Go to a 16 some more detail. I want the pass to be a little bit more shallow also. Then we pick the area that we want to cut by clicking on it. It turns blue. Create operation. And we want this pocket to be about of a quarter of an inch deep. Go to generate and hit click it or hit the enter button. And we wait for the toolpath to be designed. You can see the toolpaths in here. The next thing we want to do is the text here. So you need to click on each letter. to create an operation. We're going to do another pocket. We're going to make this one a little bit, a little bit shallow. Let's go one, two, five. About an eight. Then we hit generate. It's underneath it here, but you can click on that or tab to it and hit enter. You can see they're in there. Go to simulate. And there's our simulated sign. You can kind of look under it a little bit. You can see that this is 0.125, so it's not as deep as the quarter of an inch for the Benford part. Then we save our G code, name it whatever you want, save it to a local file, and open it up in mock. We're going to cut some of this sticky back vinyl shelf liner out. This is the back side, so the cutting will be underneath and just marking out a real wide line. So we've got some overlap on the edges. Then just trim off the outside edges. Our board is all tightened down and ready for the cut. This is before applying some paint. A few of the smaller pieces of that vinyl sticky bag material came off for some of the little letters, but it held on really tight for most of the sign. So we'll go ahead and start putting some black paint on here. As far as the black paint goes, I love using this Rust-Oleum stuff. It dries in about 15 minutes, and once you throw some shellac on it, it really looks good. 
there's the finish sign. Came out kind of cool. Very crisp. So this is two pieces of pine that were glued together. The paint is that black enamel rust-oleum and a couple coats of bullseye shellac. There we go. It was a lot of fun making this one. Thanks very much for taking a look.